In this video, we're going to derive a test for, to show that W, which is the subset of V, is in fact the subspace of V. And let us state the theorem more formally. Let V be a vector space with plus and minus as its operations. And let W be a non-empty subset of V. It's just a collection of vectors in V. It's not a vector space. It's not a subspace. All we know is it's not empty. Okay. Now, W is a subspace of V if and only if these two conditions hold. Namely, that if u and v are any vectors in w, then u plus v is in w, and if c is any real number and little w is in the set w, then c circle dot w is in w. Now, basically, we need to prove that these two are enough to satisfy the definition of a vector space. Because for W to be a vector, to be a subspace of V, it just must be a vector space that includes only vectors from V. It just has to be a vector space on its own and a subspace. Once you have those two, then you are called a subspace. Now, the definition of subspace is quite long, but we, we need to look at it. Okay, so, so let's see. I just want to see one thing. Okay, so proof. We are given... Uh, alpha and beta. We're given alpha and beta. So we, we have those two from the definition of vector space satisfied. Now remember, and this is key, remember that U, V is a vector space and W is a subset of V that satisfy those two conditions. Now, the first condition that you have to verify for a uh, uh, vector space after you show that it's closed under addition is that, so let U and V be in W, which is a subset of V. Okay, now U plus V is supposed to equal to V plus W. Okay, now let's look at it this way. You have this big set V that has many vectors in it. It has many vectors in it. And you're just going to take some of them. These vectors. And that's a W. Now, whatever is true about vectors in V are also going to be true with vectors in W. Okay, this is true in V since V is a vector space. Okay, now since we're given A that we're told that elements, if you take two elements in V and W, sorry, if you take two elements U and V, that are in W, then they end up in W. 
since uh, W is closed, then U plus V equals V plus U in W. Of course, if you take two vectors in here and you add them, you could have added them in the reverse way because they're in W. Okay. Now we go on to B. Part B in the definition says that U plus V plus W, it has the associative law. This is U plus V plus W. Well, this is true in V. V is a vector space. Since V is a vector space. And for most of these answers, if not all of them, or most of these conditions, that's going to be my answer. It's true in V since V is a vector space. Now, since W is a subset of V and W is closed under addition, we have U plus V plus W is equal to U plus V plus W in W. This is now true in W. Letter C. Okay, letter C says that there is an ID element. Okay, letter C says there is an ID element. There exists an IE element called zero in W. We need to show this. Well, we know that there exists an ID element zero in V since V is a vector space. Okay, so now why must this zero element be in W? That's the key thing. Why must it be in W? We know we know that W is not the empty set, which implies there exists some W in W, okay? Recall that W is closed under circle dot, scalar multiplication. Okay, so now zero W, zero W zero, sorry, circle dot little W is equal to the zero vector in B. Since V is a vector space, both zero and W are in V. Okay, how do we know little W's in V? because little w is in v. Okay, so now what do we have? We have zero times w equals v. But, but zero circle dot w is in 
big W sin circle dot is closed. That implies that the result of this, namely the zero vector, is in W. Okay, so we have the zero vector in W. Letter D of the definition says that there's an inverse. There's an inverse. Okay, so let W be in W. Is negative W in W? Okay, that's what we want to know. Well, of course it is. Negative 1 circle dot W, why that's negative W, and this is in W. Since circle dot is closed in W. Okay, so we have the, in, the additive inverses. Letter E, well, now we go on to scalars. So letter E says that C circle dot U plus V is equal to C circle dot U plus C circle dot vector V. And this is for all C in the real numbers and U and W in W. Keep in mind that W's in V. Okay, so clearly this is true in V. Since V is a vector space, let's call this equation star. Star is valid in V. Okay. But, I didn't remember U and V are in W and addition is closed. So now we have that this is in W and we know that C circle dot something in W is in W. So this is in W. Likewise, U is in W, C circle dot U is in W, C circle dot V is in W. So this should be circle plus. And since if you add two vectors in W, you get a vector in W because uh, W is closed under circle plus. Okay. So now, since circle plus, circle dot, and circle plus are closed in, v, in, in W, we have that star is true in W. Still not done. We have to go to F, G, and I think H. F goes on to say that C plus D, regular addition of real numbers circle dot with u is equal to c dot u plus uh, d circle dot u and this is the strange addition okay. now this is true in v since v is a vector space and This is just in R, and this is in W. So circle dot that 
that's in W. Likewise, this is in W, this is in W, you circle dot the two things in W, you land in W. Okay. Based on what I write, so star star is valid in W as well. Okay, now let's go on to G. G goes on to say that C circle dot D circle dot U this is nothing more than uh, C circle uh, something's a little bothering me a little bit okay this is equal to C times D circle dot U okay now that is true in V since V is a vector space, and that's one of the necessary conditions. The thing is, is that U is in W, and circle dot anything in W lands you back in W. And if you circle dot something in W, you land back in W. Now, when you multiply two scalars, you get another scalar in R. And when you circle dot a real number with a vector in W, you end up in W. So, yeah, this equality, which we know is true in V, well, it's true in W. So, but based on basically what I wrote here, mostly underneath it, this is true in W. Okay, and then finally, finally, 1 times U, 1 circle dot U is equal to U. Well, this is true in W. Sorry, this is true in V since V is a vector space and to be a vector space that has to be true. But now this is in W and this is in W. And any real number circle dot with W, an element of W, circled out with U to be exact, lands you back in W. So, I don't know, check star, check star. So, check star is true in W as well. Since we satisfied alpha and beta, in A through H, we conclude that W is a vector space. And all we were given were alpha and beta. Closed under additive addition and closed under scalar multiplication. It's a long video. If you love proofs like this, subscribe to my channel. One little comment. So long proof, and in my opinion, you can't use the theorem until you prove it. 
This is a very powerful theorem. Just don't use it until you can prove it. It's a game. You have all these rules, but until you can prove the rules, you can't use the rule. Okay? The more rules you have, the better you can play the game. Watch and learn. See you in the next video.